At some point in the McFarlane Toys panel, apparently, I feel like this is indirectly a way for, for McFarlane to acknowledge that there's been a little bit of a umbrage when it came to how McFarlane is distributing and actually labeling and dictating what is a platinum, what is a chase, and what is exactly rare and what constitutes as a platinum and as a chase especially when i had i guess you can say a first-hand sort of a experience with this earlier this year back in august when i walked into the walmart and i saw that giant load of figures that i am just barely now finishing on reviewing on the channel and that was that big load that a lot of other people were finding across the country and were posting photos of on uh, Reddit and the McFarlane Toys Facebook group, which was the giant wave that consisted of the Dick Grayson Batman, the uh, Batman and Superman Fusion, the Adam West Batman, but along with that, the Walmart's uh, Platinum Chases that some would argue weren't really Platinum Chases because they were brand new figures, such as the Hugo Strange Batman, the Bullseye Batman, and then the anime, the Batman Beyond DC Direct, Batman Beyond figure, the tinier one. So, a lot of people were like, okay, so what is the deal? Like, what is, what is a chase, really? What is a platinum? And it looks like here at the New York Comic Con, McFarlane pretty much acknowledged the confusion. I don't know if he full-on apologized it for it in the most formal sense. But he finally broke it down and gave us a way to differentiate the different uh, forms of distribution with what is the Platinum Edition labeling going forward. Or at least starting next year, according to Paternia and according to what Todd said at the panel, this is going to start in 2025. Which is that we have a regular figure, which he uses the Mango Batman as an example. And then the color chase, which is going to have the traditional silver McFarlane Platinum Edition sticker. And that's going to be basically the color chase, which is the exact same figure, but with a different colorway. Different scheme, different shades. Boom. That's it. Then, to then tell you that you're getting a unique chase character, you're getting a red sticker. That is also reflective and still boasts the same logo, which is the McFarlane Platinum Edition logo. But it's going to be red instead of silver. And this will be used for figures such as the Hugo Strange Batman, the Bullseye Batman. I would probably say out of all the ones that we found recently, those are the two that I look at and go, okay, those will probably have benefited from the red sticker versus the silver one. Because those were like brand new characters that were like okay what is this but they're very rare and you can't order them online like they're they're chased like you have to go and chase them down hunt them down i gotta be honest i still think that these don't require the they shouldn't be part of well initially i had a mindset that made me go i think that this is just adding this is creating a solution for a problem that McFarlane kind of created. Because I feel like these brand new figures. Like the one they're using as an example here. Which is the question. Like he's literally called the question. If he as he is a brand new figure. Then why not just sell him as a brand new figure. As a standalone release. Put him up on the site. Put him up on target. But I guess in his desi in their desire. Because I'm going to be devil's advocate and say it's not just Todd it's he's probably got a group with the marketing team and the design team and whatnot they decided to take this figure and go okay he's going to be categorically a chase figure because we're not going to put him up on fan channels it's not going to go up on Amazon it's not going to go up on McFarlane toy store we're just going to put him in some boxes and ship him out to targets Walmarts and maybe GameStops but now he's going to have the unique Chase character red logo. But then why not just release him online? You know how much gas is these days? 
And do you know how much, like, uh, it, I personally believe that time is like a secondary currency. There, I'm now over 30 years old. I mean, my girlfriend's already throwing signs that she's going to want a kid soon before we exit the 30s. Eventually, I'm not going to have time to be hunting these things out. I know some people like that. I, I, I and There's no right or wrong about that. You like it or you don't. I started to kind of phase out from the hunting, as you know Daniel was pointing out there in the chat. So I'm not going to have time to hunt. If I really wanted a question, I don't have time and or money to put into my gas, to put into gas, to then put into my car, to go to the different targets and Walmarts and track this thing down. So I guess I missed out on the question. Otherwise, recently we had the Christopher Reeve Collector's Edition. He was available on Big Bad Toy Store. He was available on Amazon. Pre-ordered. Cool. Now I just wait. One uh, toy front might have it over the other, but at least I know that it'll be coming. It's locked. My order is locked. Why not just do that with these characters? And again, it's a rhetorical question because I know that the answer, the straightforward answer he's going to give, or they're going to give, is that they want to feed into the collectability of having you hunt down the character. Which for a character like Question that's a bit more on the obscure side, okay, that makes sense. But... It then becomes a slippery slope. When are we going to... Eventually, I feel like we're going to start getting those Supermans and those Batmans that are going to be having the red logo because they're going to be brand new bucks. They're not going to be using the Nightfall buck. They're not going to be using the Hush buck, the Dark Knight Returns buck. They're going to be brand new sculpts. But McFarlane's going to make them the red logo, unique chase character versions. So that means they're going to go in some boxes... And you have to go to Targets and Walmarts to find them. Otherwise, you're SOL. At least we have a form of communication, a form of transparency. But one begs the question as to whether or not this is the answer that's going to be the end-all solution. Because, like I just brought up right now, I feel like... Yeah, look, some people are pointing out in the comment section, like, just make it easy. And this is not making it easy. Yeah, it's bringing up the collectability... But I feel like it just also enters a slippery slope as far as which ones deserve to just be color chases and which ones I are going to get the red logo. And I'm over here like, this shouldn't be a red logo. This should be a wide release available for me to be able to just hit the pre-order button at Big Bad Toy Store, at Entertainment Earth, at... Amazon, and then, of course, the McFarlane Toy Store. Because a lot of people will have that money ready to fork over. But if you're going to adding these hurdles, and we see the track, and we see all those hurdles that we have to jump to, but we have another track over here that doesn't have hurdles, we could just kind of either run or walk across, guess which one we're going to do? And I'll have to criticize McFarlane for this one, because it feels like it's like I said, the fundamental consensus that I've arrived at is that he created a solution for a problem that he also kind of started. But what do you guys think? Let me know either in the chat or in the comment section if I decide to snip this out and post that as a separate thing. Because at this current junction, I feel like this is going to create more problems than solve them.